Hello all, Night Crawler speaking, and I'm here to talk about something in Star Citizen that's been bothering me for quite some time. And that is something with the key binding that a lot of people probably don't think is an issue, and might not even think is an issue even after I mention it. Let's go to the control mapper. On foot in EVA. Move left, move right, move forward, move backwards. Jump, crouch, yada yada. Lean left, lean right. Yeah, everything you'd expect. Same thing with EVA. You can do all that with keyboard and mouse. Now, there's no way to remap looking uh, and aiming, unfortunately. But um, other than that, you have complete control of how you map things. And in fact, Yeah. In fact, you can even set an analog input on a keyboard or mouse, which is kind of strange, because uh, keyboard doesn't support that, but perhaps the mouse does. Let's see. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. So I guess you could use the mouse wheel. or. Well, a mouse wheel is technically digital movement, but perhaps there's some way to do it with certain mice. So you get a lot of options here. You go over to Gamepad, on foot. You can change pretty much everything. You can change your look from one joystick to another. You can change your move movement from one joystick to another. You can map all the controls. And the same with EVA, you get all those control options. But, take a look at HODAS. You don't get any control mapping capabilities for either the joystick or the throttle. And you get very limited uh, joystick mapping, or you get very limited control mapping for the joystick and the throttle for on foot. I don't know why you don't get anything for EVA, especially considering that's more ship-like in the way it controls. But there it is. Now the reason this is weird is because a gamepad technically has the exact same limitations and benefits as a, as a joystick or a throttle. The joystick uses two axis. Uh, sorry, the uh, game gamepad uses two axis joysticks um, to to do its aiming and its movement. And even though joysticks have two axis or even three axis movement, uh, uh, three axis which you can control analog, um, you can't do the same thing. And yes, obviously, you have less deflection needed on a gamepad, so that makes it a little bit more competitive. You know, with with a joystick, you might have to move four inches, perhaps, or um, maybe five or six inches, you know, to go from full left to full right, full back to full forward, whereas on a joystick, you can move it much, sorry, whereas on a gamepad, you can move it much quicker. But other than the speed, there's actually no difference in terms of in terms of what the controls are capable of, and a joystick and uh, throttle actually have more buttons available to you, and they utilize more of your fingers um, at any one given time. So, yeah, in, in some ways it's actually a better option. Now, I'm not going to say that a, a joystick or a HODAS user is necessarily going to be as good as a controller user, but one of the main things with Star Citizen is the ability to customize your game however you like it. Um, there's even there's even mod support 
or there's going to be mod support for this reason. And having something that's left out of the joystick controls for no other reason than the developers didn't think you it would be competitive, that's that's kind of not, not so great. <laughs> um, personally, some some good control schemes that I think you c could come up with would be uh, Ho-Jam or Ho-Tam style controls where you use like the hat on either your joystick or your throttle to control your movements and use the mouse to control your aiming. I don't see why that's any worse than um, mouse and keyboard. In fact, I think that might actually be a slightly better control scheme because, as I mentioned before, you have a lot of controls that are uh, right at your fingertips. Oh, oops, sorry, I was pressing buttons. You have a lot of controls that are right onto your finger, at your fingertips on either the uh, either the throttle or the joystick. Whereas you have to move your your fingers a little bit more to actually get at your your controls with the keyboard. And as far as moving your character, if you're using the if you're using the uh, uh, hats, the eight, the eight-way hats that are present on joysticks and throttles, you should have exactly the same capabilities that a keyboard does, except uh, with the added benefit uh, of having no ghosting if you don't have an anti-ghosting keyboard. So that actually might work out very well for some users if, if they don't have an anti-ghosting keyboard. And I, I, I'm pretty sure that most nowadays are, but some people probably still have old keyboards. Um, likewise, I'd like people to be able to have the ability to just experiment and find what works for them. Uh, you could have all the benefits of of uh, controlling your, your character with uh, the analog precision of a uh, of a gamepad, whereas you have all the benefits of controlling your aiming with with the mouse, uh, if you allowed for these options, and you can have people who try to challenge themselves by aiming with the joystick. A lot of people back in the day did, um, back before Counter Strike and and some of these games. You know, back back in the days of Doom and Wolfenstein and Dark Forces. It was quite common to play FPS games with a joystick. So uh, some of those players trying to get back into Star Citizen might actually be expecting the ability to do that. Or you might want to play in a sort of retro mode. Regardless, I have a feeling it takes extra code to lock out certain controls from certain uh, controllers and it just seems like going out of your way to, to reduce people's options is maybe not optimal. Now this has been an issue for quite a long time. Um, I've asked, I asked about it well over a year ago and the response that I got then was to wait until Arena Commander was released and if it didn't have that support then then, uh, then you know, bring it up again, but Arena Commander was delayed for all we knew indefinitely. And now with uh, 2.6 coming up, um, I think it's time to bring this issue up again because a lot of people might might not remember this as being an issue. Um, it's only brought up infrequently. So, yeah you should make all of the controls available to all of the control styles. And look at this, you can't even you can't even control your vehicles with a HODAS. What's that about? I mean if you Okay, let's see. Ground vehicles general, ground vehicles movement okay. Let's see. Yeah, these are just button presses like this this isn't an axis, so you could you could map a button press to moving your vehicle left and right, but you can't actually map an axis. So if you had if you had a 
a racing wheel, you actually could not use that racing wheel to control your vehicle. Uh, that doesn't seem very great to me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, obviously mouse and keyboard and HODAS and all that should be... They should all be made somewhat viable, but even even for the stuff, you know, for, for the control options that you might not normally think of using, they should at least be possible. Don't go out of your way to invent new game you know, game mechanics that will make, uh, you know, HODAS or whatever good for on foot or good for vehicle, although I don't see why they wouldn't be good for vehicle. But at least allow it. Let people experiment. Alright. Um, thank you very much for your time, and hope you consider this.